Hello everyone and welcome to the video. Today is the second video in my series of an experiment of intermittent fasting. I have trouble saying that word. If you didn't watch last week's video, so I'm doing a little experiment with... You okay, JD? Jed's just eating in front of me and he's got a bit of a cough. Uh, I'm doing an experiment with intermittent fasting and doing this to lose some pre sorry some pregnancy weight so go back and watch the first video if you want the background story um, so I've, I've come back I'm coming back every Friday to give you my results and like I explained in the last video I'm not editing these videos because it's just something I need to get done like quick and up done quick and up so let's just jump right into it so I believe my starting weight last week was 71.4 kilos I haven't actually written that down which is ridiculous but today my weight was 70.4 so that's a weight loss of one kilo or roughly two pounds which I'm happy with um, I literally have not changed any other habits this week no other eating habit changes um, I've been eating yeah, I, I do need to improve my eating a bit, but nothing else has changed. So, yeah, pretty much what I did was Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I didn't eat until midday when I ate lunch with my son. So, why I just wanted to address in this video why I'm doing this. So, there's a few reasons. The first reason would just be general how I look and feel I know that I feel better when I'm um, carrying a little less weight so that's number one the second one is just general health so the weight I am at the moment is about two to three kilos or roughly six pounds heavier oh sorry I'm into the overweight category I'd like to be in the normal range BMI I know that weight is just a number and that there's other factors to take into consideration, um, you know, muscle, water weight, all the rest. It all attributes to your weight, so you can't put too much weight on it, so to speak. But I just think it's okay to use actual scale weight as a guideline. What's wrong, Jetty? There you go. Got it? Okay. Um, okay, so that's the second reason. The third reason is because I'd like to avoid getting gestational diabetes this time, sorry, not this time, next time around with pregnancy, whenever that is. Um, <laughs> gestational diabetes can affect anyone of different size. It's not necessarily weight related, but apparently if you're over overweight that can be a factor so i just want to help my chances of not getting it again because it was a real nuisance really and the final reason will just be general pregnancy comfort so last time i was pregnant i started off a couple of kilos heavier than i am now and i just remember thinking i wish i had started off at a lower weight because i got quite um, uncomfortable so that's the reasons behind why I am doing this so as far as the results of this week go I'm really happy with that obviously as I said one kilo could be anything it could be it could be anything but I'm gonna take it as a positive positive sign and we'll see how next week goes uh, I didn't introduce any extra strength training this week because I still haven't changed my morning breastfeed. Um, what else did I want to say? Oh, how did it go? Um, okay, so the first morning of doing it, I got a headache and I had to take some Panadol later in the day for the headache. Uh, the other two days of doing it, I went through stages of feeling really ravenous, but then they passed and then it was fine i think being a stay-at-home mum is working in my favor for for doing this because i'm busy with jed and so it's not like i'm sitting idly around i'm i'm busy i'm occupied so 
my mind isn't really on food and yeah I think I know when I've done this in the past and been in an office it's been harder because you're kind of just sitting there and food is on the brain so it certainly is helping to be kind of busy and and active so overall I found it really good today being Friday I have actually stuffed up already because I made some um Easter cupcakes and I like licked the bowl and taste tasted the icing without even realizing so I'm just gonna have to make up for it and fast tomorrow instead but I'm gonna cap this video here I uh, like I mentioned in my last one I'm gonna cap these updates to under 10 minutes so we're doing well today um but yes thank you for tuning in and watching I'm going to give you another update next Friday and We'll see how this goes. So yeah, once again, thank you and have a happy Easter. Bye.